Right, listen carefully, you lot. I'm Master Bates, and yes, I've heard all the jokes before, so save your sniggering for the sodding playground. Now, I'm going to be your form teacher for this term, so make sure you study your timetables with great enthusiasm, because late arrivals for any lessons will find themselves well and truly caned and unable to sit down for the entire week. First things first though, so time for some acclimatisation to UKU High School. So stay seated and pay close attention to this piece of film. Good afternoon gentlemen! You're watching UK Uncovered! Oh yeah! You know, sometimes when you have one of those nights out and everything comes right, all your friends are there and you just have the funniest night ever. That is what UK Uncovered is all about! And we welcome you to our perfect night out! UK Uncovered goes back to school, so you don't have to. It's been quite awkward since that restraining order, hasn't it? Right so, grab your calculator and multiply nine ones by nine ones, and what do you get? A long number that goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bloody voodoo mathematics, eh? How you doing? Can I ask first of all, what size are your boobs? Well. You tried to feel and guess. Can I? Go, go for yourself. Have a... Quite firm, firm actually. Firm. But firm but good. I think the way I sum up, I, I'd give a 30, 34 C's my, my estimate. They feel a bit fake to me. Are they fake? I wouldn't say they're natural. But fake, fake would be an overstatement. I'm going to sum it up like that. I'll sum it up like that. I've just got a couple of questions I want to ask you about uh, the Scottish and the English. Because apparently the Scottish hate the English. Do you hate the English? Uh, with a degree of banter. I, it's, it's a passionate hatred that doesn't overflow into aggression. A bit of chat. A bit of chat. I like that. Nothing, nothing wrong with rivalry. Rivalry more than hatred is my sum, my, my sum up. And what about yourself? I have no problem with them. But you know, a Scotland England game, you know, football or rugby, you know, you got to give them a bit of chat, a bit of singing, a bit of banter. At but the end of the day, the two teams that support Scotland and whoever England's playing. That's the way I'll stop. Now, according to this real biology exam answer, artificial insemination is where a farmer does it to a cow. No, that would be bestiality, you idiot. Can't be bad, can it? I love tonight. It's really working out for me. You know, before you know it, I'm going to get some beautiful, beautiful. Hey! hey. <laughs> Motherfucker. Um, where would you like me to sign you, madam? Sir? Oh, All right, okay. No, no, no. Leave his cock alone. I mean, leave a fanny alone. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, sorry, I meant you. When I said cock, I meant fanny, darling. Oh 
Apparently, many cars in Sweden come with something called fart control and stop giggling at their back. Fart is Swedish for speed. That'll be cruise control then. As you know, you have got tits. <laughs> I've indeed. What, what size cup are they? Oh my god! Mom, I'm so what fucking scared. Uh, like a bee cup. I do apologise for your messy hair. <laughs> no, I don't imagine. But as you know, before things went horribly wrong, we, uh, we were on the dance floor and I was just writing, Jesus Christ, on these very firm tits. Thank you very much. Nice work. <laughs> You're working out or what? Pot kettle black, eh? We ran out of tape. Uh, oh. I'll tell you what, Sid, come here a sec. What size cup are you thinking these are? Um, how old are you? <laughs> Still can't work it out. I'm going to have to go in further. With go, in, go in further. Go in further with the face. Come on. How's that for you, by the way? <laughs> Fantastic. I'm thinking uh, double D. Double D? I don't even know what fucking size they are. Let's check. Have you never measured them? No. <laughs> we'll check. Right. I knew my bra. Hang on, you know how to take a bra off through your sleeve. Like, guys have seen this in action so many times, they're always going, how'd you do that? Are you filming this? Are, are, you, are you filming this? This is fucking hard work, I tell you. We are, sweetheart. There it is. Jesus Christ! I don't know what size it is. Have we got a size on that, Sid? It's like a slingshot. Just, just work with me, just spread over that way. Come here, little helper. Stick. It's Baldrick! How do you feel, Baldrick? Sorry? It's alright, you can't speak. Those innovative Japanese grow square watermelons so they fit together better. So one can't help but wonder what their plastic surgeons are possibly thinking of offering next. Take my pipe, you have a little ponder with our little dirty dilemma. You're watching back to school. I'm Mark to Bain. Glad you could make it. Choose how you want to be remembered in a school photo. Mm -hmm. Either you're in a class portrait, but you're crouching at the front. And the wise ass behind you. He unzips his pants and he lets his cock and ball drop out. <laughs> and they're hanging right there next to your ear. <laughs> Nobody notices. Hey, were you behind me? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I recognise that tush. Have a look at that. Hey, hey. Or there's a picture of the first team squad. Yeah. He stood there, proud as punch. However, big piss stained shorts. Remember, this picture <laughs> is going to your grandparents. <laughs> um, Definitely sack on the shoulder. <laughs> piss stain, because it could be mistaken for because I've been in that. It clearly looks like piss, dude. Uh, sack on my shoulder, because they can just scrub that out with uh, <laughs> Windows 98. <not> <laughs> Somebody's balls behind you, it's, it's not very fetching, shit, is it? You know? Up to date, then, yeah. 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 XP, XP. XP. You could have said, actually, I was dead hard at school. <laughs> and I told him, I'm going to have your fucking balls for earrings if you do that again. <laughs> we can just get the old deluxe paint out on me Amiga. <laughs> Touch that one out. <laughs> it's going to be the piss stain because I don't really like to be remembered for performing fellatio on my schoolmates. Piss stain. Piss stain, yeah. You don't fancy no going as next to here. The piss stain is very fetching, you know? <laughs> Got a bit of piss. Second, I reckon. You're alright with a bit of piss? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. Your grandparents are going to see that picture as well. Yeah, piss stain. I got a bit excited, that's what I'll say. I'll tell them. Yeah. 
Is that for a bit of solidarity with your grandparents? <laughs> hey, I'm just like you, Grandad. I've learned quite a few things from my grandparents, you know? <laughs> you know? What, how to suck eggs? <laughs> <laughs> the shark man, the shark. The sack. Sacker. I'm not having some geezer's balls on my head. Okay, I'd rather piss myself. Piss stink, because I love football. Could you just say to camera, I piss my pants? <laughs> Fuck off. Come on, do me a favour, go on, go on. You say, I piss my pants. Paul, Paul pisses his pants. pisses his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I do, frequently. The genius who answered this was convinced that water was made of two gins, oxygen and hydrogen, the former being pure gin, the latter being gin and water. Unbelievable. Excuse me, excuse me. Are you aware that some people around here are calling you an aspiring Peter K? Yes, I am. Chocolate, caramel, chocolate, caramel. cold yeah. chocolate, chocolate, caramel. Yeah, now, excuse me. Yo. That was like posting a letter in a letterbox. It went straight in, no fucking problem. Dude, Have you got a big gob? Yeah, quite. Open up, let me look. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quick, isn't it? I reckon I could have got a few in there. And then I so. Oh, well, just for you. All right. You know it drops in your beer then. Beer? Chocolate? Chocolate beer? Been said that the Catholic Church has been in the dark ages in some areas, but a bloody credit card terminal for donations puts paid to that belief. <laughs> like the really wicked night in Leeds at the school, this goes is absolutely brilliant. Right, to have you little buggers, before you all make a mad dash through the school gates, let me just remind you that, of course, next week is the last before half term. And as such, one of the prefects is going to be sending us off for the break with a magic show just prior to the school disco. Tickets are on sale through the usual sources, i.e. the tuck shop and versus office. That'll be all. Thank <laughs> you.